In this video, we're going to take a look at creating an index and inserting an index at the end of a document in Word. This is the 2019 version of Word. And this is the wonderful Wizard of Oz document. I'm at the very beginning here. Uh, this is the introduction. We're going to scroll down a little bit further here. And we are going to um, put a few words in an index. Okay, so let's go to our references tab up here and there is a section here for index and what i'm going to do is i'm going to first i'm going to search for uh, scarecrow so do a control f okay and it occurs in here quite a few times and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this word and then I'm going to tell Word that I want to mark that entry. Okay, so it's going to look for the word Scarecrow. And I want to not only mark this one, but I want to mark every occurrence of the word Scarecrow in the entire document. I'm going to click on Mark All here. Okay. We're going to close the dialog box. And what Word has done is it's inserted some uh, information here. You can see the dotted line. The dotted line indicates that this is hidden text. So if I go to my home tab over here and I turn off the show hide button, that goes away. If I push it back in, I can see it again. And so it's telling Word that the word scarecrow here should be an index entry. I don't know for sure, but I think XE stands for index entry. And if we scroll through here now, and look for the first occurrence of the word scarecrow. Let's just do this the easy way and go over here. And let's tell them we want to find the next one. Okay. And it looks like every place where the word scarecrow appears, it's got an index mark next to it. Okay. Uh, let's do another one. Let's go over here and let's look for lion. And we've got 181 occurrences of that one. I'm going to select lion here. Whoops. Let's try that again. And we're going to go to the review tab. I'm sorry, the references tab. And we're going to mark the entry. And again, we tell we want to mark all of them. Click on close. And if we scroll through here a little ways now, every place where the word lion appears or the word scarecrow appears, we should see an index entry mark. Okay. And that's all you have to do is mark the words, find the first one. Um, actually, it doesn't matter if it's the first one or not. It will find all of them for you if you choose mark all. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end of our document. And I'm going to insert a page break here. We're going to put the index on a separate page. And I'm going to tell Word that I want it to insert an index for me right now. And we've got, um, you know, a couple of simple options here. We're just going to take the defaults here, click on OK. And it has done a couple of things. And it's inserted a section break. It's a continuous section break. So even if I hadn't put the page break in, it would appear up on the, the previous page. And it is marking, the reason to put a section break in is because it has divided this up into columns. So I've got two columns for my index, and it has listed every single page here where the word line occurs, where the word scarecrow occurs. And that's all there is to inserting an index. Find the word you want, tell Word to mark them, and then go insert an index at the end of your document.